All right, today we're going to show you how casting works for fractures in our clinic. And Claire's going to cast my hand, so I'm going to be the guinea pig. But we're showing you the new type of casting that we use, which is a hybrid mesh. Now this stuff is fantastic because it goes on really, really easy and you can shower with it. So Claire's going to do my hand and let's have a look. So the first part of this, it's got a really nice underlay that goes on the hand or on the arm before the actual cast. So that's the one that goes on first. And she's gonna put that on. And this is really good for non-displaced fractures. So fractures that, you know, if you've fallen over or you've damaged your arm somehow, they've been diagnosed by x-ray and say you've fractured your wrist or fractured your arm or even like the base of your thumb where your scaphoid is. So those sort of fractures are ones that we can cast very, very easily. Um, even up to the elbow, including bones up in here. Um, and they're especially easy for kids because these go on really quickly and it allows the physio to put the arm um, in the right position um, without too much fuss. There's hardly any mess. And the great thing is you can shower with them. So these things are a, a hybrid mesh. They're very permeable, which means that, you know, they don't get stinky. Um, and keeps them clean. So, next part, these casts come in all different sizes. So this one is a three inch. So this one is for, say, my arm, a uh, medium sized arm. They come in kids sizes, they come in adult sizes, also come in lengths for the leg, the ankle, that sort of thing. So the first thing she does is cut a little hole for the thumb and then roll this mesh. That's a nice sort of soft, wet uh, mesh type polymer and this goes into a little donut to then roll straight on my arm. So there's no use of that old plaster stuff or fiberglass stuff that we used to use. This is simply a really easy mesh, goes in water for about just a few seconds and then that creates the reaction. So what will happen is she'll stretch this on and then as she rolls it on, over the next sort of few minutes, it's going to start setting. So she's going to get it in position where it basically molds around the thumb, because we're doing a thumb one with this one, locks it down. And the ingenious part of this sort of fabric here is when you roll it over, that helps lock it down. And it gives it a really nice, um, comfortable covering. And she simply, you know, if I've got my hand in the right position, where we, this is the good thing about this, we can work out which position the wrist needs to be in and then she just rolls it over like that. So that's basically, it's on and now we need to mould and set it. So what you'll do is you'll then go wet her hands and that just gets it all nice and smooth and moulds it out and it's a little bit warm. I can feel that sort of reacting a little bit, feel that whole hybrid mesh system setting. So it goes from a, a wet type environment to very, very hard within a few minutes. And then it takes, you know, from, from that first five minutes, it's ready to go. And then the, basically the, the person or the child is out of the clinic with a cast on just like that within a few minutes, uh, which cuts down a lot of time, especially if they're in pain or they're worried, cuts down a lot of time. And it gives us um, the ability to do it really, really quickly. So that's taken about probably about two minutes, if that, to then actually really set. And the good thing about this is Claire can actually, while it's setting, and it's nice and warm, which gives you a bit of relief, while it's setting, she can just work on all the little bits to mold it perfectly around the areas of the hand that she wants it nice and firm and snug in. And she can test it all, so she's got a bit of time. And you can feel it slowly setting, right? It's getting harder and harder and harder. The warmth is staying the same. And all of a sudden, I've got a fully casted wrist and hand. So that's how it works. Um, it's an ingenious type of mesh fiber and it's fantastic if you use for all sorts of fractures. Um, so now we're also gonna show you how quick it's gonna be to take off. See, hard as a rock. Now, and that only took sort of five minutes to put on. It's fantastic. Now to take it off um, is really easy. All she needs to do is cut down 
with a pair of scissors all the little mesh parts. Now, remember, can you see how this has got permeable holes in it? That's what she's cutting. She's cutting all the little bridges off. Um, that's so you can shower with it. So the shower water can just go straight through and then you come out of the shower and you can just it dries. So kids and adults can wear this and shower normally throughout the entire time the cast on. So it's on for four or six weeks. They can shower normally with it and it doesn't get stinky and gross, um, which is perfect um, for these days. And it's so easy to take off. She's just gonna cut all the way down like that. So again, five minutes to put on, five minutes to take off. Once the hard plastic is cut through in each bridge, then she simply just goes through with a pair of tape scissors. Um, the good thing about these scissors is they don't cut the skin because they've got a blunt bit on the bottom. So she can just go next to the skin without any fear of cutting the person. And she just cuts off this nice little fabric here. And once that's all off, the whole cast just comes off. And voila. So there you have it. Casting for fractures. So easy, so simple.